Hi Dollar Divas, welcome to Behind the Vanity, I'm Jessica. So today is Makeup Basket Monthly, and so of course if you are new to my channel, I would encourage you to kind of listen to how I do my Makeup Basket Monthly videos, and of course if you are returning, you know where those timestamps are. So for anyone that is new, I do hope that you will subscribe and hit that bell notification. I do a Makeup Basket Monthly video once a month where basically where I just put a bunch of makeup in a makeup bag and really try to use it and kind of rotate through my makeup, of course. So I start off each video by kind of recapping what was in my last makeup basket. Then I'll share some looks. Then I'll share some feelings, good, bad, or otherwise. Sometimes this is more eventful than others. And then I finish the video by showing you what will be in my new makeup basket. So if that sounds good to you, you're definitely in the right place. So as always, I will have my Makeup Basket monthly playlist linked down below so you can watch more videos like this. I will also include my Makeup Basket Monday playlist back when it was weekly and bi-weekly. I'll have both of those playlists linked down below so you can check out past videos if you are interested. So yes, without any more chit chat, let's just go ahead and get into today's video. All right, so to recap what was in my makeup basket, I had two Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. I had the Carly Bible and the Riviera palette, as well as the Companion palette by Copacetic Cosmetics, and it's an M. Jones collab, and so this is what that looks like. It's like a, um, it's like a topper palette. It never shows up good on my camera, but it's just kind of an iridescent-y, just, it's just kind of filled with a bunch of toppers, so those were my palettes. Then for lashes, the ones that I'm wearing are from Diamond Cosmetics. They're the style Love Sick, and they are from the Dollar Tree. And then these are, these are Salon Perfect. I think they're called like light and fluffy and they're the 694 style. Then some kind of staple items. I have my two primers that have been in the last several makeup baskets. And this is an eyeshadow primer and then this is like a face primer right here. Then my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. This is in eggshell. I wear this for kind of brow cleanup. I had all of my LA Girl Shockwave Neon Liners in this makeup basket. I had the Believe Beauty Brow Defining Pencil. This is in light brown. I had a couple of liquid liners. I had the Hard Candy Stroke of Gorgeous and the LA Colors Matte Liquid Liner. These are both from the Dollar Tree. Also from the Dollar Tree, I have this Hard Candy Stroke of Gorgeous Soft Glide Longwear Eyeliner. This is in chrome. Then for a pencil liner, I have the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Zero, so it's like a black liner. I've got my two eyelash glues. I have a white and a clear. I have this NYX Jumbo Crayon in Milk. This Arrow Enhance kind of highlighting and brightening eye pencil. I have the Believe Beauty Foundation. This is in Soft Beige. I've got the Makeup Forever HD Ultra HD Concealer. This is in Y31. Couple setting powders. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder in Warm Light from the Dollar Tree. Then I had my Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. I have this LA Colors Glow Time Highlighter. For bronzer and blush, I have this, this Nomad Cosmetics Kiss of Sun Bronze and Contour Powder. This is in Manly Beach. And the Tarte Amazonian Clay blush in party dress. I have the Flower Beauty Face the World Tinted Moisturizer in the shade TM6. I have these two Lime Crime Diamond Crushers lip toppers. One is in Over the Rainbow and one is one is in Cleopatra. I also had my Wet n Wild Mascara just for under my lashes. I have this LA Colors Liquid Eyeshadow. This is in Royal. This AOA Studio Wonder Lip Liner. This is in, I think this is in the shade Blogger. I have the Pixie lip color in Sheer Rose. This is an Estee Lauder lip gloss. This is in Praline. I've got the Too Faced Melted Matte in Gingerbread Girl. This Bell and Argent Red Lipstick. This is in Click Your Heels. And last but not least, the Collab brand. This is like a lip topper and it's in the shade Fetish. Okay, so for looks, I didn't write any of it down or anything like that, but I do kind of ha have an idea of what I used and what I used the most, especially as far as eyeshadow goes. Today is actually a look that I've done quite a few times because I've loved it so much. So anyways, so I did use this look a lot. I have worn makeup a lot 
in the last few weeks. So that is a good thing, which makes it harder to keep track of, but I did get a lot of good use of stuff. So, so let me share some looks. Also for this look here, here I used this gold here for this. And I think I used that brown in the Riviera palette. I think I'll, I also laid down a combination of these two colors. You can actually see I hit pan on that one there. So I've used that quite a bit, especially underneath a look and I use the red lipstick and the collab lip topper to kind of get that coppery looking lip and then look this look here is very similar to what I have going on right now with my eyes again I would kind of lay down some combination of these these two shades here pretty much this one here but I would add a little today I did add a little bit of a pop of that then of course that dark brown shade to kind of really smoke it out but the star of this look is this shade here it's called OA and so I got a compliment and my friend described this shade here is looking like a galaxy and she's very right it's it's just got these purples and blues but it's very muted and subtle and it's just got this very very fine glitter throughout nothing offensive just but if you look at it it literally looks like a galaxy it's so pretty so that's what I'm wearing today and I did wear this look several times I kind of used all the lashes I, I've been wearing this of course this top set here the bottom set is still new so I've been wearing the heck out of both of these sets of lashes of course today I'm wearing these so today I'm just wearing the lip liner and the Petra lip gloss. I will be wearing red lipstick later on today, but kind of for a more natural look for this video, I kept the looks kind of subdued. Now in this picture, I'm wearing some black eyeliner as lip liner, red lipstick, and I am wearing the collab lip topper. And then this look here, again, I think I dug into both palettes, and of course I went into, went into that shade, it's called Cindy, the one that I've hit pan on. And of course I smoked it out with the browns and all that kind of thing. And then I believe that gold shade that I'm wearing is actually from the Riviera palette. I do believe I am wearing that shade right there, that gold shade. And I believe I'm wearing actually wearing red glitter on my lips for this picture. This again here is just a very subdued look as well. I just used, you know, that brown in the Riviera palette as well as I think I might have used this shade here. And then I think I might have used a, I might have used a combination of the golds. And this, I did use this color here too quite a bit. So I think I might've put a little bit on kind of the innermost corner of the eye. And I do have at least a video or two where I filmed using some of this makeup. So I will have those linked down below. Like I said, it's one or two videos where I use some of this stuff and I will find them and have them linked down below for you. So as far as feelings, well, first of all, I've worn makeup so much that I am now like sick of this stuff. So I was really like, unlike last, my last makeup basket, which I think I had for like six weeks, I really get, did get kind of tired. I was, I'm ready to move on. So that's why this video was so prompt. <laughs> I don't even know how long it's been. It might've, it might've only been three weeks. I don't know, but I was kind of ready to move on because I am wearing makeup practically every day right now. So with that said, I got a lot, of, I definitely got much more use out of this palette than this palette, mainly because I've needed more natural subdued looks. I mean, glamorous looks, but a little bit more, you know, not so brightly colored, but I do love this palette. If I was doing more filming with the makeup basket, I would use this one probably more, but this palette here has been very, very well loved in the last several weeks. As you can see, I hit pan. I have a pretty good dip in that shade there and just, yeah, I've just gotten some really, really good use out of this palette. I do feel I hit pan on that shade because Anastasia Beverly Hills mattes, I feel, have a lot of kickback. Probably the most out of any eyeshadows I've ever used. So when you go into the mattes, at least in these two palettes, there's a lot that kicks up and I feel it is a little bit wasteful, but you know, of course there's always plenty of eyeshadow to go around. But yeah, I really do love um, ABH palettes. So I really do enjoy these. Like I said, I wish I got to use this one a little bit more, but I, I did find myself digging into a few of the shades. In fact, I think in that first look, it wasn't actually a picture of this look I'm wearing now. I think I actually wore the, this Mediterranean shade, which is kind of similar. So, but yeah, I have enjoyed these palettes a lot. Something I did not really use all that much, if at all, was this companion palette. I may have used it once filming a video, but I did not wear it like in my day-to-day -day life, but I do love this. So, you know, so there's that. So these lashes here have just been really great. These little Dollar Tree ones, and then these have been awesome as well. So no complaints there. I have hit pan on some stuff, which is always exciting, including this bronzer. I did finish up the Smashbox primer today, actually. So that's exciting. Today, I am also actually wearing this Hard Candy Stroke of Gorgeous liner on my inner corners. I didn't use it any other day, but today, I kind of forgot that I had it. And I don't have pictures to document this, but I did wear this lipstick a couple of times for the stage. Now this I have not used up. 
obviously, because it's still really long. It's my Blue Beauty Brow Defining Pencil, but I can't sharpen it. For some reason, when I sharpen it, it just crumbles and breaks. So I'm gonna let it go, because literally, like, I'll even kind of show you here. And I, this is a really nice sharpener, actually, this L'Oreal one. Maybe I'll be wrong, I don't know. Maybe this will, see, that's what happens. See that right there? That is kind of what happens. So it's kind of just very crumbly and it really will not let me sharpen it. So I'm letting this go. I don't know that I used my lip toppers except one time in a video, certainly not in real life. <laughs> I know I used this in a video and hated it. Actually, I did a um, I did a chatty get ready with me from my makeup and celebrity Sunday series. I'll have that playlist link down below. Um, but I did this in that, used this in that and I was able to salvage it, but the color is off on me, but I have a feeling that even if the color wasn't off, it applies very splotchy, which has been my experience with some tinted moisturizers out there, so I'm not a fan of this at all. Of course, I love my Believe Beauty foundation. I have had the best time working with this. Lovely, lovely foundation. It's like high-end, except it's like $4.50 or five bucks or something like that. Absolutely amazing. Great shade range, available at Dollar General. So, so, so good. So I've really enjoyed that. Of course, I've worn the heck out of my red lipstick, you know, because I'm in show business and all that good stuff. I have not used any of my Shockwave liners. I just didn't, haven't really been doing the bright thing very much this last month. Of course, I hit pan on this highlighter here, which I've hit pan on the other shade, which is Shine Bright, and I finally hit pan on this one as well. This one I haven't shown as much love as the other shade, so I, I put that in here for that reason. Also thinking it would go good with like the Carly Bible palette. And actually, this is like the newest thing to my collection. I have already hit pan because I love it so much. I actually hit pan today. This is the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. And so yeah, this stuff gets like rave reviews here on YouTube. So yeah, I've hit pan already. I love it, love it. I haven't used my Wet n Wild one as much because I've really focused on this one, but yeah, this is really good stuff. So this here is pretty much gone, the Hard Candy Stroke of Gorgeous Liquid Liner. So I did move on to the LA Colors one. So that's a use up, which is great. So I did add the LA Colors Brow Pencil and that's what I'm wearing today. And I think in most of those pictures, when the Believe one kind of stopped working for me. Yep, and then I had moved on to the LA Colors Liquid Matte from the Hard Candy. So that's been doing, and I've been doing really good. I really kind of like it okay. I've gotten used to the little brush and it's nice. I don't know that it's really matte, but it's a good liquid liner, especially for a dollar. I am almost done with my Duo Glue. I just, of course, I go through lash glue pretty often, so almost done with that. And then kind of last but not least, the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil. You know, of course, these are in the 20-something dollar range, and I like it. It's really good. I've, I'm enjoying it, but I wouldn't pay the price tag for it because there are several good ones at the drugstore for half the price. So, although I like this, I'm not crazy about it enough to ever like purchase it or repurchase it. So that's kind of my last and final thought. So it's time to share the new makeup basket. I'm gonna keep in both sets of lashes, but they're almost done, and so I'm gonna add a couple more as well. And these ones here are kind of both getting close to being done too. So I'll have four different sets of lashes to choose from, most of which may be done this go around. I'm gonna, oh, I always have this in my makeup basket. And then I think I'm gonna also continue to use my Makeup Forever HD concealer because it really does kind of need to be used up. So for my eyebrows, I'm going to use the AOA Studio Sculpting Brow Pencil. And then for liners, I'm going to put some stuff in here that need to be used up. I've got two liquid liners. The Wet n Wild one is getting close and I think the other one is as well. So I'm going to put those in there and try to use them up. Then I've got this, um, then for like a pencil liner, this L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner. I use it for lip liner too sometimes. So it's got some red lipstick on it. So I'm gonna try to finish those things up. Of course, I'm gonna put my lash glues in that I've had in there. And I'm also gonna add the AOA Studio Super Strip Lash Adhesive because I think I'm getting ready to run out of that duo. So that's gonna be in there as well. So for my foundations, I think this is almost gone. This is my other L'Oreal True Match Lumi foundation. This is in Sand Beige. So I'm gonna focus on that first. And then if I run out, I'm gonna move on to this Maybelline Dewy and Smooth Fit Me Foundation. This is in Medium Buff. I'm also gonna put in the mascara that I've been wearing by Wet n Wild and the Essence Setting Powder. And because I've been trying to finish this up for a while, I'm also gonna add my Tarte Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. So let me show you the palettes before we go any further in this. Of course, like I said before, I'm gonna keep my Copacetic Companion Palette just because it's a companion palette, so. You know, I just want to have it in there just in case. I'm going to put the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette in here. That way, 
I can get a really good natural look. This is just one of my favorite like neutral palettes ever. So I'm gonna put that in there. And it's kind of like a medium palette like where there's some color, but there's also some neutrals. And I wanna show this a little bit of love. I'm gonna put my It's My Ray Ray palette in there. I'm gonna put my Violet Voss I Donut Care Fun Sized palette in here. That might be fun to use with the Copacetic Companion palette one day. So I've got some singles, my shadow singles, and I know this is kind of ambitious, but I just wanna have them in there just in case. So I'm gonna put this Urban Decay Single in Lounge. It's that like green with like a red shift, so pretty. Then I'm gonna put the NYX Prismatic Eyeshadow Single. This is in Tinge, just a beautiful silver. Then I'm gonna put my Revolution Eye Glisten. This is in It Is Fate. It's like a glitter and a shimmer liquid shadow. Then I'm gonna put some Stilla Glitter and Glows and Shimmer and Glows in there. These are Shimmer and Glows. These are in Vivid Labradorite and Vivid Smoky Quartz. Then I'm gonna put this Glitter and Glow. This is in Opal Ice. Then I'm gonna put this Stilla Glitter and Glow. This is in Sunset Fire. Then I'm putting this, I'm gonna put this LA Colors highlighter in here, not so much for a highlighter, this is in Shine Bright, not so much for a highlighter, but for like an under the brow bone highlight. Then for highlighter, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Naked Illuminated, this is in Aura. And I'm also gonna add, it's an Ofra and Nikki Tutorials collab, this is a highlighter in Glow Goals. Then for bronzers, I'm gonna go with the Beauty Benefits Gl Glow with the Flow Bronzer. This is in deep tan, it's really dark. I have to go with a very light hand, but I am a little bit tannish at the moment, so some of my lighter bronzers aren't working. Just like this one here really isn't probably gonna work very well, but I'm gonna put it in here anyway because this other one is so dark that this is something that's a little bit more light. It's so beautiful, it's the Too Faced Natural Lust Bronzer. So I'm gonna put this in there as well. Then for blushes, I'm gonna put my NARS Orgasm X blush, as well as my Colormates blush in Moivalous. And for my face primer, since I used it my Smashbox, I'm gonna use my Smoothing Face Primer Color Correcting Yellow by LA Colors from the Dollar Tree. For contour, I'm gonna put my LA Colors Contour Sticks in Light and Dark in there. I've been just kind of contouring with the um, Essence Banana Powder, just like carving my cheeks out and that kind of stuff, but. I just decided to put some contour in there. Then I've got lots of lip products. Of course I have a black liner for when I wanna do like an ombre lip, but I also have the Jordana Easy Liner in Plush Plum in there. Then I've got a couple products I've never used before. I've got the Revlon Kiss Cushion Lip Tint. I'm gonna give that a try and see what it's like. I have no idea. Then I get this, I haven't even opened it yet, but I'm really excited to like to have it maybe for like a more nude lip, but like kind of like a dramatic nude lip. It's the Broadway Colors Matte Liquid Lip. And these do not have shade, oh yeah, this is in the shade One Fine Day. Then of course I have to have a good red, so again, just my trusted Wet n Wild Color Last in Stoplight Red. My LA Colors Velvet Lip Mousse, this is in Whipped. I'm also gonna put my Collab Lip Topper in there. This is a Revlon Matte Lipstick. This is in Power Move, if I want something a little deeper. Then I get this NYX Whipped Foyette, and I'm not sure the shade. It was on here, but it's kind of worn off, but it's a really pretty nude, and I kind of need to use this. And last but not least, it's the Naked Urban Decay Naked Heat Lip Plumper. I'm gonna put in there as well. So I hope you enjoyed another Makeup Basket monthly video. I'm excited to meet back with you in about a month. And I should be wearing makeup very, very often. My schedule has been crazy and I've been wearing makeup pretty much six days a week. So I will get a lot of use out of these products. And so I'm just excited to have some new products to work with and I have a lot here to work with. So that's exciting as well. I will have both of my makeup basket playlists linked down below so you can check out these videos as well as my Makeup and Celebrity Sunday playlist because I think I use some of these products in one or two of those videos. And if you did enjoy this video, show me you did by hitting that like button. Also too, if you know anyone that would enjoy a video or a series like this or a channel like mine, please don't hesitate to share. It definitely helps me and my channel out and all that good stuff. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.